for the uh, Mr. Uh, Ed Ryan from the Mr. Office Grammar. But um, can you just tell me more about your um, background story in the yeah, for sure. So thank you for having me today. It's really good to be able to catch up. So as you said, I'm South Australia's Environment Minister. Um, I've always had a real passion for our natural environment, getting outdoors into places like this and, and caring for it. And so for the last two years, I've been the Environment Minister. I've been involved in politics in South Australia for 10 years. I was on local council, uh, the city of Marion, before going into state parliament and then in 2014 I was elected to state parliament and in 2018 I became the environment minister. I'm the second youngest minister in South Australia's history. I was 33 when I became a minister and I just feel so privileged to be able to be responsible for looking after South Australia's beautiful natural environment. I'm in charge of things like our coastline, our national parks, our wildlife, our water resources, uh, the health of our soil and our farmland, uh, and a whole range of other things. It's a, a real privilege. Thanks, um, sir. Like, um, you've seen this um, area before and um, how the area was now, but due to the reduced human traffic, um, what changes do you see? So we are in Sturt Gorge Recreation Park at the moment. It's quite a big recreation park within the suburbs of Adelaide. Uh, it's a great spot. You can do lots of things in here. And actually, since COVID-19 arrived, we've seen a very significant increase in people visiting our national parks. In some other states and other countries, uh, they made a decision to close their parks. We did the opposite. We said during COVID, come in, enjoy our parks use them to improve your well-being get into the great outdoors don't lock yourself away at home be sensible be safe do social distancing but do it in our parks because you can do it because there's so much space so since covid came we've actually seen greater visitation on our national parks our national park visitation across the state is up 120 percent particularly in our parks close to the city like sturt gorge so, um Rather than being at home uh, and locked up, um, maybe you should enjoy the well-being of nature more. So That's exactly it. So mm -hmm. we think that getting into the great outdoors, breathing in fresh air, walking around safely, uh, staying apart from people in a socially distanced way is quite possible in our parks. There's nothing better than getting out into the fresh air, listening to the sound of the birds, looking out for wildlife like koalas, kangaroos, echidnas, even some rare bandicoots from time to time. And this park has all of those things. And it's really close to metropolitan Adelaide. It's surrounded by suburbs. You can get in here, disappear from the busyness of life and the stresses that have come with coronavirus and uh, really enjoy yourself. So there's no doubt there's been a whole range of impacts from coronavirus, particularly health impacts and maybe even more so in South Australia economic impacts, people losing their jobs. We haven't had a terrible impact um, on our health because we've done really well. We haven't, tragically four people died in South Australia, but compared to other people, that's a very low number. And we've only had about 430 uh, infections of coronavirus amongst the lowest in the world. Uh, but we do have economic impact and we've got people whose mental health has been impacted because they've been isolated from friends and family. There's been a lot of anxiety and fear. And that's one of the reasons we're saying to people, get outdoors, sensibly social distance, but immerse yourself in nature because that's far healthier. It's good for your well-being. Uh, it's good for your physical health, uh, but perhaps even more importantly, your, your mental health as well. Yeah, so thanks, sir. Um, basically from Korea, um so South Australia, I think, is um, the lowest number of um, cases in the whole of Australia. Yeah, so South Australia has had a great result with coronavirus. We've had amongst the lowest rates of infection in the world. Uh, we've only got about 430 infections and, uh, and sadly four people died, but that's a very low number. So we can be really proud in South Australia of what we've achieved. Uh, how we've uh, done the right thing in terms of social distancing, slowing down that rate of infection and, uh, and, do, and looking out for each other. So if there's anywhere in the world you want to be, it's the country of Australia. If there's anywhere in Australia you want to be, it's the state of South Australia. I'm really excited by how we've done well here. Yeah. Yeah. So um, 
I've got one one last question. What, what message do you want to um, say about coronavirus to NASA and um, our viewers? Uh, I think. Uh, uh, the message that I would give as a minister in the government of South Australia is to really, um, uh, we want to look out for each other during this difficult time, not just in Australia, but we want to say to people in other parts of the world, look to South Australia and see what we've done right here uh, and learn from us because we have done really well and we need to be proud of that. We need to get the message out there. And we've done so in a way that hasn't seen the lockdown of our state. We've been very sensible with uh, things like social distancing, but yet we have encouraged people to get out into nature. And as part of recovering from coronavirus, nature, nature-based tourism, walking, cycling, camping, exploring nature should be a big part of that recovery. Uh, so I would say to the people watching this, uh, get out into nature, immerse yourself in the environment, learn about wildlife, breathe in that fresh air, and that'll be part of your recovery. Well, thank you for having me. It's been a real pleasure and all the best with everything you're doing. So um, now, right now we're at Sir George Park and you can see everyone maintaining social distancing, uh, riding their bicycles um, and just maintaining social distancing, walking across on this beautiful Sunday. It's a really good day today and we've come to do a report on uh, COVID-19 NASA Space Up Challenge.